Hey guys, Ellie here. Today, I have kind of a cool video for y'all. So right here we have obviously our little garden area. That's where I'm in. So this right here is the entrance to our garden. You open the gate and you walk right in. I got some fans right here. We got these from Tractor Supply. They're really, really, really powerful. Very good. Uh, over here in the middle is Pawpaw's garden. Now I'm not sure what his plans are now because he was using this area to plant his squash and his tomatoes, his cucumbers, whatever it was. But we had a flood recently, I'm sure you all know, and the waters were well above, you know, like this height. So obviously all these are gonna be rendered useless, no good, unhealthy, because they've been submerged in flood waters for a while. But, you know, I'm just gonna let Papa do what he wants to do here and he'll, he'll ask me for help if he needs it, I'm sure. And <clears throat> over here in this area, we have this is Rocky's chicken run over here. Rocky and his birds like to, uh, hey, hey, I'm sorry, what am I saying? That's hey, hey, that's not Rocky, what am I doing? This is hey, hey's chicken run. Him and his Polish chick girls love to hang out in here. We've been leaving it open to let them kind of free roam and hang out. Over here is our bunny rabbit enclosure. I see dude right there. A little chocolate is probably inside there. Staying a little bit cool. Over here is Rocky's chicken run this is his enclosure for his girls they're allowed to come out and free roam as well and okay i'm kind of scared right now actually because he sees me and i actually don't have a net so i'm really really scared oh here's a net Whew. self defense right here <laughs> so anyways guys that's our little garden area but uh we have a big task that we need to accomplish today so our sweet little phoebe love her she's oh she's such an amazing puppy we love her to death but she uh she's causing some serious problems inside our house to be honest with you and at first it was just little things like she would kind of throw her toys out all over the place pee and poop a little bit no no big deal we can pick those things up we love her it's not a big deal but it's getting to the point where it's becoming very very difficult for us to deal with uh, her pee and poop is getting a lot bigger because she's a growing puppy. She's getting a lot bigger herself. And so what once was just little drizzles on the ground is now massive puddles of urine, which is really unpleasant to pick up. What once was, you know, a little air, spotted area of poop is like a big old mountain of poop in the corner and stuff like that. It smells really bad. And then it's been attracting flies trying to get in the house if we open the door and stuff like that. And so it's just it's really really difficult for us as far as that goes and she's doing okay with her puppy pads but the training is just not going as good as we had hoped and she's starting to chew cables and cords now so meg's iphone charger is actually ruined so we have to get her a new one it's just a lot of different little things and so i'm not mad at her she's a sweet little girl she's in the house resting right now for crying out loud so we still let her in the house of course and we still we're not angry but it's becoming a problem it's becoming a challenge and so today my plan is to modify this garden area to be suitable for phoebe and we're gonna we're gonna try to leave her in there maybe during parts of the day where we're not home or where we're unable to supervise her we'll probably let her in the house during the heat of the day and then maybe at night she can come back out here we haven't decided fully yet but i'm just still trying to figure this out um and of course we'll leave the little goats in there with her so she can have company she loves ryan toulouse and Tallulah, so we'll leave them as company for her but let me turn this camera around again real quick all right let me come back in here so the main things that we got to do it's not a whole lot uh this right here i put some poultry netting i ran it all the way across the entire perimeter of the garden area i ran it across over there and then on that side i did the exact same thing i have a video of it i need to i need to use that footage i actually did that like two weeks ago before we went to disney and i had meant to do this job a lot sooner but with the disney trip kind of sneaking up on us so quickly my dad being willing to watch her and stuff like that we just kind of put it off a little bit and then when we got back from disney we just tried to you know see if we could have phoebe in the house without having to resort to this me to this desperate of measures but it just kind of it just it, i think it's time and so the point is that a lot of the hard work's already been done i think running that poultry netting all the way across was the hardest part of this job so i'm glad that we have that complete 
But the main thing that I need to do today is I need to clean up this area because she's still a little puppy. She still could be prone and immune to certain parasites and illnesses, things that run, just live in dirt, live in poop that live in the ground and stuff like that. So I'm gonna blow out this area with our blower. I got some Clorox and a scrubber. I got a broom. And so I'm gonna really, really do my best to tidy up this area to make sure it's safe for her because I don't want her getting sick or anything like that. And I'm gonna pick up the trash over here in this corner. So Zebra's gonna root me on and gonna get a good day of hard work in and hopefully this will make our hopefully this will make things better. This will improve the farm and it'll help Phoebe be safe and happy. And on top of all that, she needs to start getting used to being outside anyways. After all, she we got her to be a guardian dog, an outdoor protector. And so as much as we love babying her and rub, jump loving on her when she's in the house, her jumping all over us, she has a role she needs to fill too. And so I think now is a good time to start beginning to slowly ease her into that role. And so, yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, guys, we got some bad news. It actually might be really good news, it's probably not bad news. But yesterday, all the footage you saw was from yesterday so far, but we had some really, really violent rains come through. My basketball goal got knocked over again. Even some stuff on the front porch, this big old swinging bench that we have, it's so heavy, somehow that got knocked over. And so obviously I couldn't continue the work yesterday. So right now it's the next day and we're gonna go ahead and try to finish up today on our little project. The reason it might be good news is because, you know, we can always use the rain. It's always, uh, we're getting a little bit much rain, I think recently, a little more than we bargained for, but you know, all rain can be good. It's good for our grass and for the farm. And there's a lot of toxins that are just kind of on our property. Cause ever since the flood, you just think about just residue from the like sewer water, garbage and dead animals in the woods, just parasites, God knows what else has just come, you know, basically just been swept over here by the water and so it's always good to have rains to wash that away and so any amount of rain we can get to sort of heal our land for after the flood is a great blessing and so that's why it could be a good thing but anyways let's continue So as you saw, I was trying to scrub the old fashioned way. I don't have a pressure washer with me. Y'all seen in my last video, our old fiasco with our electricity and how our pressure washers aren't working. Even Jake couldn't get them to work. But uh, yeah, scrubbing wasn't quite doing it. I was trying, I have a really newfound appreciation for how people in the old days before electricity had to clean and wash stuff. It really, really hard and laborious, like getting down, squatting over in the hot sun. And so, man. That's tough. Anyways, though, uh, I asked Stephanie and she has a pressure washer she's willing to let me borrow. So I really, really, really appreciate that. We're headed over there to get the pressure washer right now and we will finish this off in a little bit easier of a manner. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if I can say so myself, I think this is a job pretty well done. I'm proud of myself. We got Phoebe's water bowl over there, 
under that table. That's actually kind of a clever idea so that the goats don't poop in it by accident because these goats are kind of clumsy. They end up pooping in stuff like little goofballs. Phoebe's sitting there in front of her fan right now, cooling off on this hot day. She got Ryan and Tallulah over here planting some plants. Uh, old Toulouse. <laughs> I guess Toulouse is in there with the chickens. He's gonna be a chicken, I suppose. But yeah, guys, I'm very satisfied. This is a job well done. We're secure right here, as I mentioned earlier. So no way she'll be getting out. Let me just do one little final walk around real quick. Have a look. Um, yeah, everything seems to be in order pretty good. Put that like that. And then, oh yeah, our bunny rabbits are hanging out over here. Baby birds to say hi to when she feels like it. Everything's perfect. I think we're good. We're set. But alrighty, guys. Oh, yeah, Phoebe, you like your little garden, baby? Oh, it's going to be such a fun little garden area for you, huh? She got everything she needs. And uh, she ate, she's already eaten, so we don't have any food out for her right now, but we'll give her food in a little bit. Oh, use the potty, Phoebe. Good girl. Going so good already, guys. But alrighty, with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see. I hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy Elliot. <laughs>